Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, it appears Big Joke is yet again in the news. For those who are unaware, Big Joke is the former commissioner of immigration who had a very long run there, for lack of a better term, in, insofar as he, well, long might not be the right word, but he had an important tenure in immigration. It was really a different time period in immigration. Took a hard line, cracked down on a lot of different things having to do with immigration. A lot of deportations, a lot of folks got rounded up on overstay. Big joke really had an impact. Changed the way retirement visas were dealt with as a practical matter. A lot of things Big Joke did in immigration. Now he's, a, I believe he's the assistant national police chief or the assistant to the national police chief. And, you know, in that capacity, he's doing a lot these days as well. I uh, thought of making this video after reading a recent article and an unfortunate article talking about, and this is from Bangkok Post, bangkokpost.com, article is titled, CNN visas revoked, charges pending over unethical coverage, quote unquote unethical coverage. Uh, yeah, a preface for this, it, there's been a true travesty here in Thailand. Somebody attacked a child care center and it, it's terrible. I don't, I don't really have any other words for it. It's just awful. Uh, in the aftermath of that, there's been some implications that, that kind of touch upon the immigration, uh, immigration issues as well as now big joke also. Um, quoting directly, the Immigration Bureau has withdrawn visas issued for two CNN reporters after they entered the off-limits child care center where a mass shooting took place to report on the story. And the, they named the, these folks, I'm just going to leave that out. So name redacted and name redacted were assigned to cover the massacre at the daycare center of the Utai Sawan Tambon administration organization on Thursday. They trespassed the crime scene and reported from inside the building where 24 children had been murdered. The picture of the two climbing over the fence from the center went public on Saturday. Quoting further, Deputy National Police Chief Police General Surachat Hakpan said on Saturday that there would possibly be more charges against the two. Now, since this article, it's been my understanding that there has been some rather minor charges levied, but it's sort of been worked out. I don't know what the final outcome of this is. I do know that when kind of big joke sets his sights on something, things tend to happen. You know, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes with this. It would be interesting to watch. Again, something to remember, look, foreign nationals that come to Thailand, just generally, I don't, I'm doing another video, it'll probably come out subsequent to this one on the same day, where I get into this kind of more in detail, but, you know, I, I don't know what it is where foreign nationals come to Thailand and it's like they, I, I don't know, they just, they don't act the way that they otherwise would elsewhere. And I don't know what it is about Thailand that sometimes brings that out in people. And I'm not saying all foreigners. I'm not even trying to name and shame these two folks. It's just a phenomenon that happens. And, you know, it just doesn't seem... I, I can't figure out the phenomenon. I, like, I've watched it over the years. Folks get here and they just do things that, you know, you would say, well, if you did that at home, you'd have huge problems over that issue. I'm not talking about this specifically, but just generally. And, you know, it, it's something I find rather rather odd. Uh, in any event, I'll, I'll get to that a little bit more in detail shortly. But long story short, yeah, this was a tragedy, trage travesty, tragedy. It was terrible across the board. Followed up by, in my opinion, some less than prudent decisions made by some folks that were foreign journalists who weren't even in Thailand in proper work authorized status, as we noted in other video, and you know they, they made some bad decisions, it looks to me like, or they made some decisions that were not really the most prudent under the circumstances. And you know, if there's something more to this, it'll be interesting to see if Big Joe kind of sets us it out, and we'll certainly keep you updated on this channel as the situation evolves.